Alright, I'm making this brief video to show you something curious at one of the less frequently visited locations in Velen. If we follow the river to the northwest of the crossroads and past the Nilfgaardian forces, who have apparently taken this position from the Redanians recently, they are building fortifications, there are some dead bodies with red shields on the ground, and we can actually see the Redanians on the opposite shore. Crawl back under your rock. And also there is a neatly drawn map of the continent, but past all that, atop this small hill, we can find a campfire with two corpses beside it. They are both men, and they appear to have died while holding hands. There's no blood or any other indication of violence, so my initial thought was that these were homosexual men who committed suicide together. Additionally, there is a bottle next to one of the bodies, wine mixed with poison, I'd assume, and the smoking pipe next to the other one. I don't know if that's a reference to something, I just assumed that they picked a spot with a nice view, shared a pipe and a bottle of wine and ended their lives together. But if any of you recognize this scene from somewhere, please let us know in the comments. And speaking of references, it was actually one of my viewers who pointed me to these bodies. And he thought that they were a callback to Alan Turing and the way he died. That is because you can loot apples from them. For those of you who don't know, Alan Turing was a massive contributor to the field of computer science and he was also treated rather terribly due to his homosexuality. And there is a theory that he committed suicide involving an apple. True or false, the fact remains that there was an apple next to his body. However, that's probably not the case here, since apples are often looted from such corpses and in fact sometimes you will loot a few coins instead of an apple. It seems these apples are trying to confuse us for the second time, actually. If you remember in this video, someone claimed that this was Gontor Odim's corpse because of the location and the fact that you can loot an apple from it as well. And as for the reason why they committed suicide, assuming that they did, well, I doubt it has anything to do with the battle between Redania and Nilfgaard. I suppose that may have been a contributing factor but I suspect it was generally more similar to what happened between Mislav and Florian in White Orchard. I took a look around for any further clues, but I couldn't find anything. In fact, they are relatively close to Boris the Troll. Perhaps he wanted to put them in his soup too. Poor Troll. I wonder if he can afford a Witcher. What you got in the pot? Uh, cops, trolls or family, much goods, <laughs> slings, froggies, bone helps, joy smell sticks. Last one necro for flavor full. <sighs> Kind nice man, troll help. Take a word. This is the head of an elf. Elf is good, like tomato. Also, one curious thing about this quest here is that the reward from the troll is random. He will sometimes give you an elven head, but other times he'll give you a diagram instead. Actually talked to a ghoul once, found him quite eloquent. Ah, do you, mankind nice, gift. And in the case of the head, I think it's a massive missed opportunity that you cannot use it to fool this guy into thinking that you killed the Scoia'tael. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. This is the Woodland Beast contract, which is actually not far from the troll. And even if you have the head on you, Geralt will always admit the truth. So, you got them? Elves aren't monsters, so no. And also, Vernosiel will attack you afterwards, in Novigrad, but for that you can check my details missed video. Leave now and forget what you've seen, or die. Since I also mentioned Mislav and Florian earlier, allow me to talk a little bit about their story, 
Um, this is something that has been said a few times in the comments of my very first Witcher Details video. Well, I mean, the very first video officially in this playlist. So, in it, I talked about Claire and Volker, and at the time I assumed that the connection between what happened to the Noon Wraith and the homosexual couple was rather obvious, so I didn't talk about it, but let's go over it briefly. So, basically, it's all connected and a lot of the misery in White Orchard can be traced back to the fact that people simply couldn't accept the love between Mislav and Florian. First, we learn that Florian hanged himself when the two of them were discovered and couldn't be together anymore. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. F Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking and the estate fell into ruin. The Lord got even worse than he was. He treated the locals poorly, which led to some of them separating themselves in this now abandoned village away from White Orchard. Uh, and these were people such as Claire and Volker. Then, when the Lord came to them and slaughtered them all, part of the reason, possibly a big part, was that Claire said something about the Lord's son, likely revealing the truth that he was gay. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but... You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. And so everyone died, and ultimately, nobody won. And speaking of revealing the truth, there is certainly a sense that they were not very open about it. In the cemetery, for example, we can easily find Florian's grave, it's the most decorated one. And on the gravestone, they give a different reason for his death. However, they still claim that he committed sins against nature, or something of the sort. And one thing that some of you commented about, I forgot who it was exactly, it was many years ago, but I still remember it. Um, someone said that the fact that Florian has a wooden sword on his grave is a way to mock him even further. That apparently the wooden sword suggests that he wasn't a real man, or wasn't a real warrior, or something along those lines. Feel free to tell me if there's any truth to that. I certainly find it plausible. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I had for now. I could bring up some lesbomancy or the lesbian bruxa in Tucson, but uh, I've already done that plenty of times, so I think I'll end it here. Let me know what you think of everything I talked about, and if you have any more information about this suspicious couple, feel free to share it. Alright, thank you very much for watching, special thanks to my supporters and YouTube members, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.